Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will talk about DB connection resilience. The agenda of this video is to understand what is DB resilience, what are the advantages of DB resilience, what are the steps to enable DB resilience and then we will see a quick demo on the same. What is DB resilience? The ability of integration service to tolerate temporary network glitches or database issue while connecting to the relational database. The integration service is resilient to failure when it initializes the connection for the source or target. It is also resilient when it reads the data from the source or writes the data to the target database. What are the steps to enable DB resilience? We need to first set the connection retry period at the session at the relational connection level. We need to define the custom property named as connection error code files and we need to add the error codes under the particular tag. What are the advantages of DB resilience? Whenever there is a minimum network glitch and we and we want our session to keep running, we can use DB resilience. Whenever there is a database issue and we want our session to keep running, we can make use of DB resilience. Now let's go ahead and see a quick demo on the same. For the demo purpose, I have created a simple pass through mapping where the source is a flat file and the tar target is Oracle. Now I'll go and show you the work. I have created a workflow for the same mapping. Here, my target connection is a native Oracle connection. So, and you can see that I am using this particular connection. Now, I will show you this particular connection. So, this is my connection. I will just do edit here. You can see all the connection details here. And a, 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 Along with that, you will be able to see the connection retry period attribute as well. So this attribute has been now set to zero, which is the default value and which implies that there is no DB resilience set at this particular moment. So now we will go and run this particular session. So I'm just going to run this particular session from here. You can see that the session has been successfully completed without any issue. Now we will go and mimic a situation where this particular session will fail. So basically we will be modifying the password from the backend and will not modify the same in our connection properties. So with that the session should fail. So I have logged in to my same database server and then we are going to just change the password. So I'll just type password command. It is asking the old password. So I'm providing the old password. Then it is asking the new password. So we see that the password has been changed now. So now we will go back and run the session again. So let me start this particular session. So you see that the session has failed. We'll see the error. You can see the error says like invalid username and password login denied and you can see the error code as ORA01017. So after that we are going to introduce uh, DB resilience here. So let me just run this. Uh, let me set this prop property as 10 seconds. So which means the uh, DB will be resilient for 10 seconds. I'll just save this. After increasing the connection retry period, we'll have to set this particular custom property and we need to set this value to the connect error dot uh, act file which is present in our server. So I have already set it. I'll just show you that. You can just edit your session and in the config objects tab, you will see the custom property option. You can just click on a click here and then you can just set the property. So basically the attribute named as connection error codes file and then I have provided the location from my server where this file exists. And then we can just apply these changes. After that we will go ahead and run the session again. 
So before we run this particular session, we need to add the particular error code in our connect underscore errors dot act file. So this particular file will have all the codes for which we have set the particular custom property. And uh, so for that I have went to my server where this file exists and now I will just edit this particular file. So I will open this particular file. You can see all the error codes being uh, kept here. So I have already modified this particular file with the value 01017 which we saw was the oracle error code while we were running the session. So you can just add this particular value and then you can save this particular file. Now we will go ahead and run that set. So let me just start this particular session. So you can see this particular session is running and has not failed so far. Let me just get the session logs. Okay. So we see that uh, this particular session is trying to do a retry. Still it is running and it's trying to connect to the database. So now yes, the session failed and then we can see the same error here. So it tried for a few seconds which we said. So basically 10 seconds it tried but then after that it got failed with the same error. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit my connection retry period to say 50 seconds and in the meantime uh, the session would be trying to uh, connect to the database. We will be changing the password. So with that we will be able to figure out that whether this resilience is working or not. So let me just save this. Okay, so now I will start my session again and in the meantime I will reset the password to the old one which was originally set and which is there in my connection properties as well. So I'll just restart it. Now I will go and change the password. I entered So now the password is changed. So now the session should get successful. So let's wait for a few seconds. So in this time the session is trying retrying. Okay, meanwhile I'll just try to yeah. So we can see that the session got successful. So basically I'll show you from the uh, SQL plus as well by changing it to the original password and we'll show you that it got connected. So with this we finish our demo. I hope the session was useful. You can try introducing DB resilience and uh, make your database more resilient. You can refer to our knowledge base articles in case if you face any issues while doing the same. We would love to hear from you. You can write to us on support videos at the rate informatica.com or tweet us on infasupport. Thank you so much for your time.